So pre-production is one of the most important phases when it comes to filmmaking. If you don't do this process right, you can end up spending a lot longer or go way over budget when it comes to the actual commercial or the film that you're trying to produce. And so doing this correctly is really important. Now I use a tool like Milanote to put together everything because I feel like it really works well with my brain and how I think, but you can find the tool that works best for you. We will just be using Milanote in this example. Now, the reason that you wanna do pre-production is number one, it helps eliminate problems later down the line. For example, some of the problems that we ran into, we already knew because we had gone to the location, we had scouted it and we had really talked through the actual process while we were on location. So I was able to order things that we needed and that really helped. The other thing is it helps you work with a budget because budgets are important. And for us, we did not have a budget for this. So I needed to figure out ways to do this very cheaply. And so one of the hard parts is finding crew members that can help you on the day of and calling in favors, uh, trading future work for uh, rental costs, things like that can really help minimize how much you have to spend when it comes to this ad. Now there's a lot more that you can say about pre-production. There's so much that goes into it. That's why I wanted to jump into the computer to discuss my pre-production process and some of the other features that you'll have to think about when it comes to pre-production. I eliminated some steps because I did not have a budget. It was a one shoot day, one location, very minimal crew kind of shoot. If I had a budget and I was doing this on a bigger scale, then I would have had a bigger Milanote compilation and that did not happen. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and we are going to go through my Milanote. Okay, so now we're, we are in the Milanote and you'll see here there's a bunch of stuff and it goes down even farther. Jumping into here, you can see right up here, we have the Ember Mug spec ad. So you can see here, the next steps, I did my location scouting and I did the test shot. I did not need to update the shot list actually because the storyboard was good. Um, I was going to do a like chat GPT versus me kind of shot list, but I did not. I used chat GPT and we'll, we'll get into that in just a second too kind of draft a shot list, but I decided instead to just take some of their ideas and then turn it into my own ideas. And then the continue with the mood board, that's, I always keep that open just in case. Let's go to the mood board real quick. So you can see here, these are some shots from Shot Deck. If you haven't used Shot Deck, go ahead and sign up with it. It's like 10 bucks a month and it's a bunch of movie stills. So you can actually take stills from movies and you can either use them to uh, base your grade off of, or you can use them like I did for inspiration on color, composition, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I wanted to do with uh, Shot Deck. And you can see here, there's just some kitchen scenes and some things. And these first top four were just more of the kind of color palette that I wanted to go with, more cool teal and orange kind of thing. And then these bottom two right here were kind of the brightness that I was going for. I was really wanting this kind of like daylight look. I didn't want it to look like there were lights on inside. I kind of wanted to look like the daylight was actually lighting the entire scene. So that's what I wanted. And that's why I found all of these. And then you can see here the colors. I just wanted to kind of go with a more of a high key white look like a commercial, but a little bit on that teal and orange side just to make it kind of, you know, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. That's the the mood board then you can see here we have some ads that i liked um, a lot of them were samsung ads uh, with their you know wi-fi connectivity their bluetooth connectivity and all that kind of stuff it just to me was the epitome of what is a tech product that you can use in your everyday life to make your life better and then we're gonna get into the storyboard now the storyboard i'm not gonna go through every shot but you can see over here this shot list right here was actually what chat gpt put together. And while I don't mind what they did, it was a little too similar to the ad that Ember has right now. And I didn't like some of the first shot that was uh, chat GPT, but I changed it up. So here you can just see the shot list. We went to the location and we took some test stills so that we could kind of have an idea of the actual ad together. 
that's the storyboard. Uh, this is a really important part to, to take into consideration because the reason why you want a storyboard is it helps you plan each shot so that when you get to the post-production, you already have the shots laid out so that you know what order they go into. You just need to cut them down and it saves you hours when it comes to editing. That's the importance of storyboarding. I highly recommend storyboarding. For the script, um, I had this idea, but then I also used ChatGPT um, to kind of help create a separate script and I kind of melded the two together. I'll play it for you, right? I'll play the ad for you at the end um, of every video so you can kind of see it if you haven't seen the video before. Now, the reason that I did a script um, is the Ember Mug ad that they had originally didn't have a script. It just had some text on the screen and I felt like there could have been a voiceover. And so I wanted to do a voiceover so that I could kind of call out the important parts of the mug while you're listening to it and you're seeing the things on screen. Now over here, we're gonna go over some of the things that I think you should do when it comes to pre-production. And one of that is you need to set up the like parameters for the shoot day. So you need to know when people need to set up, when you need to start setting up, when you can be in the location and when you have to be out of the location where it is and then you have to have a call sheet and this is why i love mila note it has the different scenes so you can actually do the different scenes and what i would do is connect each scene you can do a an arrow here um you can do like scene one to location one right like so you can really connect these things and show where everything is going to take place so you can add notes so that when you're on location you can use those notes to better the scene and then you can have the contacts and you can have the crew and the name of the crew and their contact information i want to show you this real quick we're going to add a new board and you can see there's a lot of, and so this is where I'm gonna kind of get into a little bit of Mila notes. So if you don't care, just skip on ahead. But here you can see a bunch of different things. So here's film pre-production, right? You can do the pre-production. It's kind of where I started and then I, you know, updated it. If you're trying to do a character profile, uh, and then you have more templates here, film and TV, we're gonna stay on here. So you have storyboard, shot list, beat sheet, pre-production, film brainstorming, you can brainstorm. Um, or you can just go ahead and create a board and do it yourself. So this is why I love Milanote is because you can really do tons of different things with it. And it just has helped me and my brain to think about things. And so this packing list was for me on the day of to make sure um, that I had everything packed and ready. The reason that I do all of this here is just so that I know what gear I'm going to need and just making sure that it all gets packed. And then once it's packed into the thing, I put it into the staging area. And then I go through the staging area and I make sure everything from the staging area gets into the car. This is a great way to do a list. And I love that because it just, it helps you like, for me, this is this is the way that I need to do it. I need to visually check it off to make sure that I know it's packed. And then going back, you have, you know, this was this gear thing was actually the original gear that I was thinking about. I knew that we were going to need certain gear, and I knew that I wanted to put it down so that when I'm going through and I'm trying to create the packing list, it's just things like here that I was thinking like, okay, we might need, make sure that I have it. So with this Mila note, I hope that you can see how easy it is to plan out a shoot. The awesome thing with Mila note is you can share it with anybody that you want. It has a little share button and then you can make sure that everybody has the whole pre-production for it. Um, I've gotten a lot of Excel sheets or PDFs or things like that. And I, I don't like those. I, I really like this because it's a good way to kind of plan things 
and you have a checklist and you have different ways of doing things and it's very visual and for a person like me who has ADHD and gets distracted very easily and I have a certain way my brain works and it has to be visual for me to see it all and so this is perfect because I can see the entire pre-production process for this film uh, for a commercial so anyway I hope this was helpful the, the pre-production process is just one of those things that takes so long. I usually try to hire it out because I like to focus on the other stuff and I know there are people who do it better than I do. And so I try to let them handle it because I feel like it would be a better overall product if somebody who knows how to do this handles it. I wanted to, because this was a spec ad and there was no budget, I wanted to try my hand at actually doing a pre-production process in case it gets to the point where there is a project that does not have a huge budget and I need to do it myself. With that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you uh, wanna have a conversation, please feel free to hit up that comment section below and leave some comments. You can also find me on Instagram. It's right here at Levison Productions. And if you have any topic ideas, if you have any suggestions on content, uh, please put that in the comment section below as well. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content from me, uh, hit that subscribe button. I will be having a four part series on this whole ember mug process. So if you wanna see the next three parts, uh, stay tuned and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post those videos. And they should be coming out within the next, uh, I hope, three weeks. Um, I'm trying to roll one out every week. With that, I hope you have a great day and that you stay safe. Designed for home or office, the Ember Mug does more than simply keep your coffee hot. Whether you're drinking coffee or tea, the temperature will be perfect from the first sip to the last drop. And with our easy to use app, you can set the perfect temperature for all day enjoyment. With Ember, your drink stays hot for hours so you can stay focused on your work. All Ember mugs are safe to hand wash and submersible up to one meter in water. Ember mug also comes with a convenient charger coaster so that your mug is always ready when you are. Ember, perfect temperature every time.